According to the latest snow survey, the Tahoe Basin has more snow now than it did for all of last year. Good evening, I'm Noah Bond. And I'm Denise Wong. As Cola 8 News Now's Ben Deet shows us, that isn't the area with the biggest increase. If all you knew was what Mount Rose Highway looked like on Monday morning, you could probably guess what kind of a winter it's been so far. Winter is off to an amazing start, as I think everybody in Reno even realizes with how much snow we've had there. With temperatures below 20 degrees, hydrologist Jeff Anderson made his first trip to the Snowtail site on Slide Mountain on Monday to see how deep the snow is and how much water is in it. Today, what we've measured here at the Mount Rose Snowtail site is 128 inches of snow depth, so over 10 feet or above the basketball rim. We have 45.1 inches of water content in the snowpack, so almost four feet of water if we were to melt all the snow down. The Tahoe Basin snowpack sits at just under 200% of normal, something the Federal Water Master's Office is very happy to see, with the recent drought taking a toll on the lake. So coming into this year, we were basically out of water. We, we ran out of storage at Lake Tahoe. The level dropped below the natural rim. We've seen a tremendous increase in Tahoe just from snow falling into the lake already, and we haven't even melted all the snow yet. Recent storms have boosted all of our area's snowpacks, but have really helped the ones to the south, with the Walker River Basin coming in at 254% of normal, and the Carson River Basin just below that. And both of those basins are record high for February 1st. Um, we've never had a February 1st since the Snowtail Network went in in the early 80s, we've never seen a winter that started off this strong in those two basins. And while all this does not yet mean we are officially out of a drought, things are clearly headed in that direction. The snowpack we have on the ground now in our current reservoir storage, our forecasted runoff at this point, um, we're hoping and it's looking likely that we might pull out of this, this drought. So the snowpack off to a very good start this year, obviously, but we did see a bit of that last year and things just didn't continue on throughout February and March. So we'll check back in in one month's time for the next snow survey to see if that changes in 2023. At Mount Rose Summit, Ben Deach, Colo 8 News Now.